All right. What's up, guys? I'm KBHD here, and this is an updated What's in My Tech Bag 2019. The everyday carry, the daily driver, whatever you want to call it, this is that. So I've been pretty picky about backpacks. I've had maybe three in the last nine years of being a student and carrying books and things like that. That was always the same type of backpack. But then this one got recommended to me. It's easily the most expensive backpack I've ever bought, but it's very different, and that's kind of what inspired this update. So this is by Peak Design. It's called, it's the Everyday Backpack. It's the 20 liter version. There's a bigger 30 liter one, um, but this is my everyday carry. I don't need that much space. Yes, I know there's a matte black version of this, but I got this charcoal one because of the red accents, so I know. So with my previous bags, it was kind of like a, a big empty space, which is great as a student-minded person with you know carrying books and stuff like that, but this is divided up. It has a ton of features, it's very different. So this is everything that I carry now in it. This is what's in my tech bag 2019. So I still don't know if this qualifies as a tech backpack, because I mean, it doesn't have any you know battery banks in it or any solar panels built in but it has so many features. I didn't realize a backpack could have this many features. It has more than I'll ever use, but it's got all kinds of magnets and compartments and, and latches. And it kind of starts right here at the top. Actually, you know what, I'll start with the smartphones that I carry every day since people will be asking that. Um, it's still the OnePlus 7 Pro as the daily and the iPhone 10s Max, Space Gray, Nebula Blue, those are the smartphone daily drivers of choice when I'm not testing other stuff. All right, so into the bag, it's got this metal latch, as you can see, and you pull it down, and it sort of unhooks from any one of these levels on the inside. So if you have a lot of stuff in the bag, you can hook it up to a higher angle, or lower, or lower like that. It's kind of great, there's magnets, I really like it, and that just exposes the top of what's in the bag, which is just my everyday carry thing of the day, for me, that's the headphones, and they are still the Sonys that I've had for the past couple months. I did really like the Bose, but these are still my go-tos. And then it's kind of empty. You can see like in there, it's it's a good amount of space for that top third of the bag, but if I had more stuff in there, like you know, extra shirt or a jacket or things like that, then I would just sort of latch it up there. Um, it's weather resistant, so water just kind of falls right off the top of it if I'm in the rain. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so getting into the side. This bag is kind of designed so as you're carrying it, you can take it off and it's got handles on the side and it's also fully accessible via zippers on the side. So if you wanna like extend it and just kind of have it like a messenger bag style for a bit, you can do that. And then you get to what's inside the bag, which for me is a, a good amount more than I could put in my previous backpack. So you can see the top third is empty now that the headphones aren't in there. And then in this middle third, this is a camera that I'd carry every day. This used to be the Hasselblad. If I'd carried this in my old backpack, it would just kind of be like loose in the backpack, which was kind of weird. So it's, it's great that this is a bag made for camera stuff and it's more secure. And the camera of choice is no longer the Hasselblad, at least for now. I've been really enjoying the Canon EOS R. And this is the gigantic 28 to 70 F2 lens that they've made for it attached. It's obviously with this lens bigger than the Hasselblad and there's some things it does better, some things it does worse. It's not a medium format 50 megapixel camera, but it's much faster. It takes great photos with, I mean, it's 30 megapixels still. It's not like it's soft. And then of course, there's all the advantages of Canon. Their color science, dual pixel autofocus is very fast. They do a lot of things well. I don't shoot much video, at least right now, on the Canon EOS R. I have another camera in mind and I'm actually testing for that. But that's the camera and the one lens that I do carry in the middle third of the bag. Then in the bottom third of the bag, I have just kind of the charging accessories. If I was carrying a laptop, I would have the laptop charger down here too, but spoiler alert, I'm not. Either way, uh, I have a battery bank. It's more of in case of emergency because I usually keep things pretty well charged, but this is Anker's 26,800 milliamp hour battery, which replaced the 20,000 milliamp hour one I carried before, but all the same features, 18 watt charging, USB-C in, uh, and it still has that little sweet charging indicator, and it's wrapped in a D-brand skin. So you can actually skin your Anker batteries now. And uh, I have the McLaren Edition One Plus uh, 30 watt charger. It's the same as uh, the current 30 watt that comes with the One Plus 7 Pro, but it's a little more fancy orange with this braided cable. And that pretty much takes care of the actual insides of the bag. You can access it from either side. So if I swap over here to the other side, so you kind of get used to having the handle of the camera that you want to get to quickly always on one side. So you always know where to open it to pull out the camera and start using it, which is pretty cool. 
And then inside, there's actually these little wings. They have zippers in there and there's stuff that you can put in these compartments too. Now, like I said, I don't carry a whole ton in the bags, so there you have the uh, the one pen I carry. And I think I uh, have some contact lenses in there. Then on the other side, there you go. Business cards, another pen, and a Sharpie up here. And again, like I got so picky about backpacks, but there's just so many things, little things about this bag that are sweet. Uh, one thing is the anti-theft zipper. So it has a zipper both at the top at the bottom, but if you wanna go ahead and pop this off and latch it around this here, then when someone tries to yank the zipper down, it won't come off. And then these pockets over here on the side, which have magnets in them to close them, they expand and they're great for an umbrella or something like that. And just to show you how little of the features I use in this bag, there are so many latches and things to like attach, like if you wanna put a tripod on this bag, you can wrap it around and buckle it in like that. There's also more latches down here, closed with magnets if you ever wanna do that. I'm probably never gonna do that with this bag because it's my everyday carry, but it's that modular if you want it to be. Now you're probably wondering, where's like the computer and all that main stuff? Because <laughs> I haven't gotten to the top yet, which is the other main compartment. So on the top here, there's actually multiple compartments to fit different types of computers. In the back is the deepest one for like a 15 inch laptop. In the inside here, which is a little shorter, that's the 11 inch iPad Pro I've been carrying that I've been running that iPad OS 13 on that I kind of still feel like is doing the job for everything I need it to. And then in the very top, there's this little pouch that's a little more shallow. It's microfiber, it has a bunch of small things in it. In there I have a Canon EOS R battery. I have a MKBHD edition microfiber, which is pretty sweet. And then a couple other small things. I have the Matte Black Everything AirPods. I have my Vanja uh, little flash or SD card reader. I have my Apple Pencil here and I have a SD card reader. And at this point, the bag is now empty, so it's uh, pretty lightweight, and that's the charcoal and the red and black, and that's what I've been carrying every day. I'm getting on a plane tonight, I'll have my noise-canceling headphones and things like that with me, but other than that, it's not too crazy of a tech bag. I kind of mentioned last time that's like why I wanted to share it, is there's so many like super high-end, very expensive tech bags out there, and this is a, a little bit more of a minimal setup, so maybe it'll give you some ideas for your own. Or if you wanna give me some ideas for things I do in the future for my tech everyday carry, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Either way, that's been it. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.